Hello everyone, we are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is t squared minus t to the power of 3. This is equal to 36. So what are the values of t, given that t is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. We have t squared minus t raised to the power of 3. This is equal to 36. The first step is to take 36 on the left hand side, so that we have t squared minus t cubed minus 36, this is equal to 0. So again we have t squared minus t to the power of 3 minus 36, which is the same thing as 27 plus 9, this is equal to 0. So we have t to the power of 2 minus t to the power of 3 minus 27, we can express 27 as 3 to the power of 3. Then minus times plus 9, this is minus 9, which we can express as 3 to the power of 2. This is equal to 0. The next step is that we have t squared minus, we have 3 to the power of 2, so we have 3 to the power of 2, then minus t to the power of 3, then subtract 3 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. So from here we have t to the power of 2 minus 3 to the power of 2. Subtract, we can express t to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 as t to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. This is the first part. And this is the difference of two squares expressed as a squared minus b squared. And here is the second part here which is the sum of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3. Now, the next step is that from the difference of two squares, which is a squared minus b squared, this can be expressed as a plus b, a minus b. So t squared minus 3 squared, this can be expressed as t plus 3, then we have t minus 3. Let's call this equation 1. The second part here is a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, which we can express as a plus b, a squared minus ab, then plus b squared. Let's apply this identity from here. So applying this identity, then we have t to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 which we can now applying this identity then we have t to the power of 3 plus 3 to the power of 3 this can be expressed as t plus 3 then here we'll have t squared minus 3t then plus 3 squared which is 9 let's call this equation 2 now let's combine equation 1 and equation 2 Equation 1 is t plus 3, t minus 3, subtract equation 2, which in this case is t plus 3, into the parentheses here, this is t squared minus 3t, then plus 9, this is equal to 0. So, you find that t plus 3 and t plus 3 here is common, so we can factor out t plus 3. So that into the parentheses here, we have t minus 3, then minus, here we have t squared minus 3t, then plus 9, cross the parentheses here, this is equal to 0. So we have t plus 3, into the parentheses, this is t minus 3, then here minus t squared, minus times minus 3t, so this is plus 3t, then minus times plus 9, this is minus 9, cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. So here we have t plus 3, into the parentheses, this is, we have t plus 3t, so this is 4t, then minus 3, minus 9, this is minus 12, then minus t squared, this is equal to 0. 
So we have two parts here. We have the first part is t plus 3. This is equal to 0. And the second part is 4t minus 12 minus t squared. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that t1 is equal to minus 3. This is a real solution here. And the second part, we can rearrange this equation as minus t squared plus 4t minus 12. This is equal to 0. So let's divide both signs by minus 1. So minus t squared divided by minus 1. This becomes t squared. Then plus 4t divided by minus 1. This is minus 4t. Then minus 12 divided by minus 1. This is plus 12. This is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation of the form at squared plus bt then plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4, and that c is equal to 12. Applying the, the quadratic formula, then t2, t3, this is the same thing as minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything here, divided by 2 times a. Now, let's substitute the values of a, b, and c from here, so that we have minus minus 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared. This is minus 4 squared, then minus 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is 12. Everything here divided by 2 times a, which is 1. So here we have minus times minus 4, this is 4, plus or minus the square root of minus 4 squared, this is equal to 16, then minus 4 times 12, this is 48, then everything here divided by 2. The next step is that we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 48, this is minus that 2, Everything here divided by 2. So we have t2, t3. This is 4 plus or minus the square root of minus that 2 over 2. So this is 4 plus or minus. We can express the square root of minus that 2 as 16 times 2, then times minus 1. Everything here divided by 2. So that now, here we have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16, this is 4, square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 2, everything here, divided by 2. So we can factor out 2 in the numerator here, so that we have 2 into the parentheses, this is 2 plus or minus 2i, square root of 2, divided by 2. So let's simplify 2 and 2 here, so that now we have 2 plus or minus 2i square root of 2. So this implies that here we have two complex solutions. We have two complex solutions here. That is t2, this is equal to 2, plus 2i square root of 2, and we have t3, this is equal to 2 minus 2i square root of 2. And therefore, we only have one real solution, which is t1, and t1 is minus 3. This is the only real solution that we have. So, the next step here is to verify. Let's verify. Let's verify with this real solution here. That is, we have t to the power of 2 minus t to the power of 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. So this is minus 3 raised to the power of 2 minus into the parentheses minus 3 raised to the power of 3. This should give us a value of 36. 
So we have minus 3 squared, this is 9, then subtract minus 3 raised to the power of 3, this is minus 27, this should give us a value of 36. So we have 9 minus times minus 27, this is plus 27, this is supposed to give us a value of 36. So 27 plus 9, this is equal to 36, and this is again equal to 36. So the left, add side, this is equal to the right, add side. And this implies that the value of t1, which is minus 3, satisfies the equation, and therefore we have three solutions to this algebra problem, two complex solutions and one real solution. So kindly of follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.